pay yourself first ten percent of everything you earn is yours to keep so i'm about to tell a story about a book titled the richest man in babylon okay and this book actually tells us on how we can become financially independent and financially secure over time all right it's not a lottery it's not something that happens overnight but it's a step-by-step -step process okay without any further ado i would like you to please um subscribe to this channel all right give this video a thumbs up okay and um just boost the algorithm so we can reach more people and this story can actually go far okay so without any further ado let's get right into the story so this book opened with the story of a man who was tired of being broke all right he went to his friend to borrow money from him after which they had um, their friendly banter and they realized their predicaments that no matter how hard and well they worked they still ate and lived like beggars all right they walked like elephants and ate like ants they remember the friend of theirs who presently was the richest man in babylon named akkad so they insisted on going to seek for a solution to their poverty by going to akkad their friend the richest man in babylon for advice so they did and went to akkad their friend all right Akkad welcomed them as old friends and told them how come about his great fortune by telling them the story about his own encounter with Algamish, a man who came to patronize his craft and ended up becoming his mentor. And this man taught him about the laws of gold, about the laws of money and riches. And the simple principles taught to Akkad by Algamish was this. Number one, pay yourself first, right? Save 10% of your earnings because 10% of everything you own is yours to keep. And no matter how hard you feel, 10%, you not know, taking out 10% from your earnings is if you actually eventually take out 10% of everything you earn, it won't stop you from living the life you've been living before. What will actually happen is that it will fatten your purse and the money you save will work for you and make more money for you in, in the long term all right the second principle taught was seek advice from investors that are into investing not investors that are a lot different from their investing all right so for instance you have to seek advice if you want to invest in real estate seek advice from a real estate agent okay don't seek advice of real estate from a bitcoin guru or a bitcoin lord it won't work it won't tell you okay so learn to seek advice from those who are practicing what they actually preach and the third principle was learn was rather let your savings earn more income right let your savings earn more income that's actually like say a baby or a child of the second principle okay so you invest your savings all the 10 percent of your income you have set aside you invest it into a trade learn about what you want to invest in okay don't just invest blindly and just pray and expect to blow expect your income to go far that's more like gambling and as we all know gambling does not turn out good and learn about what you want to invest in and invest learn to grab opportunities as they come your way stop giving excuses if you find yourself giving excuses in any form or manner count one to five right or just count five four three two one and just do it like nike said okay stop giving excuses because excuses are what hinders us from our greatness right in conclusion make good or money your slave not the other way around all right do not work for money all right but as you learn as you rather as you work for money learn to make money work for you lastly lastly this is an added point okay never stop developing your financial mindset from financial books financial mentors and investors who are actually like i say who are who are actually practicing what they preach all right learn to make money work for you. use these three principles okay learn to save 10 percent of everything you earn 
okay seek advice from investors who are practicing what they preach let your savings earn more income for you all right don't depend on your savings alone because price differs the price of everything is going down and down and down so learn to make money work for you get more of assets than liabilities okay so without any further ado this video has been completed and i would like you to please subscribe all right if you haven't subscribed at the beginning of this video and if you made it to the end leave a comment down below what you think have you read this book the richest man in babylon if you haven't read the book go and get the book it is available on uh, www.pdfdrive.com amazon or wherever you want to get it from right? i love you always remember giant strip and fall but worms dig and crawl which are you stay blessed stay listening peace out i'll see you in the next video